hello and welcome today we are going to learn about strings in ruby and this is going to be very easy and very interesting so you can do hands-on along with me and we are going to learn everything about strings and all its operations so let's get started and i will create a new file and i will call this as strings.rb and let me go to my main.rb file and here i will load strings.rb so it runs strings.rb and now here let us say I create a string, I say my string equals to hello all. Now I can create a string using double quotes or I can also say, let me directly print this, I can say puts hello all or I can say this is puts and I can also say puts and in single quotes I can say hello all and if I run this let us see the output you can see it is running so you can use single quotes or double quotes in, in the strings let us say I create a variable message and here I say hello from automation step by step now I can say puts message which will just print this message on the screen you can see it is printing it here or I can say puts message and in square brackets I can give some part of the string let us say hello and if I run this you can see it will just print that part now let us say I say puts message and I give something else here which is not in the string let us say ruby and if I run this you will see it will print nil because it was not there I can also say puts message and I can give the index position let us say I say zero here and say run it will print the character at index position 0 which is h now I can also say puts message and I can say uh, 0 comma 4 so it will print 0 to 4 I can run this and you can see it is printing these four characters and then I can say here I will say puts message and I can give a range I am saying here 0 and double dots to give a range until 20 and if I run this you will see it is printing hello from automation which is from index position 0 to 20 and then if I have to print the entire string I can also say print from 0 and then I will say until the end of the string so I can also say message dot length so it will give the entire length and if I run this now it will print the entire thing hello from automation step by step if I want I can also say a reverse I can say minus 4 so it will start from the end and if I run this now you can see this is the character which is at fourth position from the end so this is printing this as from here then I can say here uh, if I have to say I will say puts message dot length and it will give me the length of my string so you can see 34 is the length of my string now let us see if I have to write a multi-line string I can just say I will say here puts this is and I will give, go to the next line and just say a multi-line string and if I run this so here you can see it is just printing it as it is now to print a multi-line string I can also say puts and then I will use a percent character and I will give this forward slash and then I will say this is multi-line and I can go to the next line and say string and again at the end I will give this forward slash if I run this now you can see this is running it as it is this another way I can say puts and I can use this operator and give some name here and then I will say let us say I can give anything here and I will say this is multi line string and then at the end I will again give the same thing str if I run this you can see it is printing it as it is here so this is how you can print multi-line strings now let us say uh, if we have to 
refer the variables in the string let us say we have two variables i will say the variable is topic and i can give some value like ruby and let us say day is i will say wednesday now if i print a string i will say today is and i have to refer this day here so i will say hash and in the brackets in curly brackets i will give the variable name which is day and i will say today is wednesday and i am learning and i will give the topic name again i will say hash and in curly brackets i will say topic now if i run this let us see the output so here you can see it is saying today is wednesday and i am learning ruby so this is how you can do interpolation so referring the variables is called as interpolation and then we have already seen how you can find out the length of a string then you can use upcase downcase reverse and include operations for example i can say hello and now i say upcase so it will convert it into an uppercase i can say here hello and say downcase so if i run this you will see here it is printing this in uppercase and this in lowercase then i can also say puts I will say hello and then I can reverse using the reverse operation I can also say hello and then I will say upcase and then I want to reverse so I will say upcase dot reverse so if I run this you can see this it has reversed and then here it has first converted into uppercase and then reversed the string and then uh, if I say puts I have a string automation step by step and if I say dot include and if I give some name here or some part or some string automation if I run this so here you will see it is saying true that means this is a part of this string if I give something else here let us say Ruby and if I run this so here you can see it is printing false so you can use include operations like this and then if you want to concatenate a string let us say if i want to concatenate multiple strings or multiple parts i can just say let us say i say my name and now i want to concatenate i will say plus is and then again plus and i am saying raghav if i run this you can see the output here my name is raghav I can also just use a space between the multiple parts of string I can say my name and I will give a space and then is and then again give a space and then Raghav and if I run this you will see I am getting the same output here now I can also say puts my name is and then I can use the concat function and I can just say here I can give the second part and if I run this you can see here it is still printing let me just clear this console and run it again so here let me very quickly check here yeah it is now printing my name is Raghav or I can also say puts my name is and i can use this symbol for concatenation and i can run this so you will see this still works here so this is all the ways you can do concatenation now you can also freeze your string for example i have a string i will say my string one and i say this is i give some value my string and I will print this I will say puts my str1 now let us say if I change something I will say my str1 equals my str1 and I add some append something here I will say modified and now if I print this again I will say puts my str1 and if I run this let us see the output so you can see here I am saying my string and my string modified now if i freeze this string i will say my str1 dot freeze and now if i try to do any operation for modification on this screen on this string string let us see i will say modified 
again and if I run this again and let us see you can see I am getting a error it is saying it is frozen so I cannot modify it so once you freeze your string you cannot modify so you can freeze your string if you do not want any modifications we can do a comparison of strings so I can say let us say my string is 1 2 3 I can use double equals for comparison and I will say it should be equal to 1 2 3 to check I will run and you can see I am getting true that means it is uh, equal I can also say this string dot I can use equal and I can say this here and if I run this you can see this is again saying true that is it is equal I can also say this string dot case compare and I can give the other string here or let me say ruby and I am comparing it with ruby now if I run this you will see I am getting 0 here that means this is equal if I say this and run now here you will see I am getting 1 that means it is not equal so this is how you can use comparison so these are all the operations and everything about string now in the exercise write a ruby program to do all the string operations as above so all these operations you have to do in a ruby program i hope this was useful for you i will meet you in the next session thank you for watching